Hi guys, so this is a sequence to stretch out your shoulders, especially great if you've just done a little arm workout. So we're gonna start either sitting on our heels or you can also sit cross-legged or you can tuck your toes under and sit with your toes tucked. So you're gonna wrap your right arm underneath your left to start. And you're either gonna press the palms together like so, but if the arms quite don't reach, you can press the backs of the hands together. Either way, you're gonna stretch your fingers up and then as you move the arm bones forward, you're going to feel the space between your shoulder blades broaden. And I'm going to take a deep breath in. And with the exhale, tuck the tailbone under and draw the elbows into the belly. I'm going to go through that two more times. Inhale, stretch the fingers up. Arm bones forward. Exhale, tailbone under and elbows move into the belly. One more. Inhale, fingers up. And exhale, elbows in, tail under. And really feel the space between the shoulder blades broaden. And next breath in, reach the arms up. You're gonna open up the arms, reach the arms up towards the ceiling, and then cactus the arms, palms forward, chest broad. One more like that. Inhale, reach the arms up. And then as you exhale, draw the elbows down, pull them back, and maybe pull the chin up. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, we're gonna wrap the arms the other way around. So the left arm wraps underneath the right. Palms pressed together, fingers reach up. Deep breath in. Exhale, tailbone under, elbows to belly. Twice more. Inhale, deep breath in. Reach the eyes and lift the chin. Exhale, tailbone under, elbows to belly. Scapula broadens on the back. One more. Inhale, reach up. Arm bones move forward. Exhale, draw in. I'm gonna stay here for one extra breath in. And one extra breath out. Okay. Inhale, unwrap the arms. Again, unwrap the arms. This time, reach the hands behind you. I'll just turn to the side so you can see. And you're gonna stretch the fingers back and away. Take a deep breath in and then pull the chin up. So we're losing a lot of this motion today with our devices. So I'll wrap the right arm fingers around the right side of the body. And you're gonna drop the right ear to the right shoulder and extend the left shoulder down and away and this should feel really nice in the neck. And you can stay just here. You can slightly lower the chin towards the chest and then circle it back up. Again, chin moves towards chest and circle it back up. Last one, you're gonna drop the chin down, bring the head to center, and then as you stretch the fingers back and away, again, lift the chin and look up. Left side of body. Left ear, left shoulder. Right shoulder extends down and away. And right away, you'll feel this in your feel, shoulder, you'll feel this in your triceps. Take one more breath in. And then exhale, chin to chest. Round it back and up. And lower it down, and if at any point you find this really nice, juicy spot, you can stay there. Last one, breathe in roll it all the way down. I'm going to stretch the arms back one last time. Lift the chin up. Maybe come up onto the knees for a moment. And then as you lean back into the heels, fold forward and stretch the arms over the head. Take a breath in through your nose and a big exhale out through the mat. Release the hands back to the mat. Come back into all fours. A few cat cows, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Inhale, tuck the toes, arch the spine. Exhale, flatten the feet, round the back, take the chin to the chest. Twice more, inhale, tuck the toes and arch the spine. Exhale, flatten the feet, navel up, chin to chest. Last one, inhale, tuck, arch. And exhale, flatten. We can keep the right hand where it is. 
Inhale, reach the left hand up and really peel open through the collarbones. Exhale, thread the needle. And reach the left fingers as far away from you as you can. You're gonna descend the left shoulder down to the mat. Reach the right hand forward on fingertips. And as you press lightly into the left shoulders, you're gonna spin the gaze and look up. Just one breath in. And a breath out. Right hand comes back beside the face. Inhale, reach the left fingers up. Nice opening through the collarbones. And exhale, release. Changing side, right arm reaches up, peel open, maybe lift the eyes. And as you exhale, thread the needle, lower the right shoulder down, the right ear down. And as you reach the left fingertips forward, pressing lightly into the right shoulder and spin the gaze and look up. Last breath in. Exhale, the left hand comes back beside the face. Right arm sweeps up. Really peel it open, have a moment here. And exhale, release both hands to the floor. So we can come down onto our bellies. And this is my favorite guy here. And if you've been training hard, this will definitely feel amazing. The left hand will reach forward and you're gonna cactus the arm in 90 degrees. And what you want is the hand to reach slightly higher than the head. And as you pull back on the fingers, you're gonna to roll to the right. Use the right hand as leverage. And then maybe I like to bend my top knee and take the foot behind me. You can bend both knees, you can do whatever works. And you're looking for sensation here in the front of the shoulder and the pec. And with any one of these stretches, if you're really enjoying it, if it feels really useful in your body, then you can always pause the video and stay there for a bit longer. And you might close the eyes just so you can find the breath. And take one final breath in. And I like to use the exhale to come out and change sides. I'm going to roll back onto my belly. Right hand up 90 degrees, hand slightly higher than the head. Drag the fingers back, left fingertips as leverage. I'm going to roll on to the right side. Either stacking the hips or bending the top knee, stepping the foot behind. And keep the energy of the right fingers dragging back towards the elbow. And once again, re-emerging to find the breath. And really the breath cannot be overemphasized in yoga. And it's what differentiates it or makes it stand alone from exercise. There's that correlation between movement and breath. You're gonna roll back under your belly. Hands beside. And we're just gonna finish in a child pose. So you're gonna tuck your toes, press your buttocks back towards your heels, stretch your hands forward. And just let the shoulders relax down. You can separate the knees just enough so the rib cage is gonna rest between your inner thighs. Drop the head down to the mat. And if you have a few moments, stay here for a few moments. Otherwise, when you're ready, namaste.